This episode of Partners Project is brought to you by Lynda.com. Want to know where your favorite YouTube stars go to learn their tricks? Lynda.com has tutorials on shooting, editing, special effects, and more. Go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now. Hello and welcome to another episode of Partners Project. I'm right now with Chris Thompson. How's it going, guys? Chris, how would you describe your videos? <laughs> oh boy. Um, an experience. I don't, I don't just do funny, I don't just do serious. Yeah, there's such a variety of stuff. Okay, Cupid. All my videos are me. Like, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm feeling, whatever thoughts I have. That's, that's what I put out there, and that's why I, I love doing it, because I get to show who I am to the world. It's great, I love it. To make you feel up with the 06 because you started in 06? Yeah, I, well I've been on YouTube since 2006, but that's not why I'm Sup Ricky 06. I didn't know what YouTube was when I signed up for it. What's up YouTube? My name is Chris, or Sup Ricky 06. I thought YouTube was like, like photo bucket, like private, somewhere you can store videos to post on other websites. Like a Dropbox. Exactly. <laughs> so I signed up and I used my email address, which was Sup Ricky 06, yeah. because People think I look like Ricky Martin, so sup Ricky, and then yeah. 06. I don't know why I had those numbers, actually. And then if I had known <laughs> at the stick. time that it would become my brand, I might have chose differently. But, you know, I embrace it at this point. And I just remember going back to the video I posted. It was me and my dad doing Dance Dance Revolution. No way. And I wanted to post it on my MySpace. And um, I went back, and people were rating and commenting, and I'm like, <laughs> Who are these people? How are they yeah. finding this video? And I was like, oh, people do this. And I researched and that's where it all began. I've never posted a, a video response before. Well, what, what were you doing at the time? I had just quit my job. I was working at a restaurant and I just got a MacBook and it had iMovie on it. And I was like, oh, I'll start playing around with this. You know, I needed an outlet. Mm -hmm. And then I had no idea what I was stumbling into when I started. but. Now here we are, five years later, still doing it. Well, yeah, but you were a bartender. I mean, you had, you'd gone around in the job circuit. Yeah, I worked in restaurants and bars and clubs, and it just wasn't fulfilling really? my creative side, <laughs> <laughs> oddly enough. You're on the couch, had way too much to drink, now you're on the couch. Nobody knew what YouTube was when it first started, yeah. and then for it to evolve the way it has has been Spectacular. Today my parents made me need therapy. And what kind of videos were you putting up way back then? Just videos about life. I would just sit and talk about something that happened in my life. The first video I had that got featured, front page, I had been receiving these messages from some girl with no picture mm -hmm. in French on my MySpace. And I'm like, okay, well, I just kind of ignored it. And then the last email that she sent me had a link with my username at the end of it. I was like, Hmm. So I investigated it. Long story short, this girl had been talking to this dude who had been taking my videos, putting them on his website, no and he was seducing her, pretending to be me. But the thing is, is the guy wasn't smart enough to rip the video, he just embedded it. So when you click on the video, it goes to my channel. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. Like he had created like a, a, a persona, a whole persona and like she was in love with this dude and then she finds me and she's just like heartbroken. So I used like a translator or whatever for French because I don't speak French. So and, and we basically got the idea across and then. Did you meet her after? No, she was interested, believe it or not. <laughs> really? <You laughs> yeah. When did you evolve into the music video parodies? Well, I mean, I've been a singer my whole life. Like I was in college studying, I was gonna be a high school choir teacher. No way. I was studying music ed. And then I got scouted by a record label starting on the East Coast. Boy band, it was so a boy band. It guy. was a boy band, but 
Back then it was like on the tail end, it was like LFO 98 degrees time, you know. Totally makes sense. Towards the end of the boy band thing. And I was like, okay, you know, I signed with the label, moved into a house, started recording an album. We were going on tour in Germany because Germany loves everything, yeah, I guess. Totally. <laughs> and um, I went home for Christmas and they, they called me. They're like, we, uh, we ran out of money. It happens. That was my first Hollywood lesson is wow. nothing is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So I was just sitting on my butt doing nothing. And one of the guys I was in the band with was like, come out to LA. So I moved out here and I wasn't, I, with the YouTube stuff, I was creative, but like I wasn't utilizing my music. Mm -hmm. Like I love music. And I was like, okay. And this is the advice I give anybody who's, who's wanting to do well on YouTube. You need to find what it is that you love to do mm -hmm and then figure out how to do it on YouTube, not the opposite. Don't find something somebody else is doing and then do it. Totally. So I was like, I like to make people laugh and I like to sing, so how can I do that? Mm -hmm. Comedy music and so parody and original comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then when I started posting that, I saw my numbers just whoosh. No way. Because music has replay value, so people will go back. Think about it, like your favorite song you've listened to millions of times. Mm -hmm. Well, not millions, but you yeah, get the idea. Yeah. I found like, more success with that, and I was able to utilize my full skill set, not just part of it. She started to mop for a minute, then I wake up and it's all in my head. At what point did it go from putting up random videos to doing YouTube full time? Well, I went, February was a, was an interesting time for me. Like I went through a pretty bad breakup mm -hmm. and was unhappy in the club. And I was like, uh, I, I ended up moving home for like a month and spending time with my family. And I was like, you know what? Like all your friends did it. Why aren't you doing it? You want to get out of it, bust your butt, make it happen. Mm -hmm. So I came back and I moved into a place. Uh, it's very cramped. It's three guys in a two bedroom. Whatever, yeah. it's, I sleep on a bunk bed. like. And I was like, I'm going to figure out what it takes. Well, not figure out, I know what it takes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dedicate my time. I'm gonna upload at least once a week. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I don't care how hard it is, or uh, I'm gonna have success. I'm gonna struggle, but I don't have success. I did that for like two or three months. And then, then it just like all started to fall into place. So now I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. And, and uh, it's just a matter of dedication mm -hmm. and consistency. Can't process him with a normal brain. Having ultimate creative control, mm -hmm. and I don't have to go audition in front of anyone. Do I want to cast myself? Yeah, I'm in. Exactly. Sweet, you know, like, and I don't have to worry about any of that. It's a lot more work, but I feel like it's much more rewarding. So worth it. How many times do you work so hard at a job or to get something, and then it's like any Hollywood exec can just end it at any Like, sorry, I, I had a bad day, you're out, you know? Yeah, totally. And, and it, it happens all the time. Yeah, but you can't take it personally. You gotta have that thick skin. All of them ladies be shaking their asses, cause they like guys with tape on their glasses. But there's so much talent now, and yeah. like, high quality like could have and do have their own show mm -hmm. people are branching off people are looking at youtube as like a legitimate place for real art you'd be surprised how many people still think it is that though oh i'm not surprised that. it's just crazy i'm like really i have friends that are like wait you make money doing those videos? I was like, no, I dedicate all of my time every day and I get money from some magic source that I know. I'm a trust fund kid with no trust fund. I don't <laughs> it's funny, the second you explain people that there's a possibility of monetary benefit, that's when they're like, oh, I can totally do that. No. Well, what, what, who can do that? Any, who anybody can do it properly. Anybody can do it properly. You just have to learn what YouTube is and how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can have a one video, one, I have, of several videos with millions of hits, mm -hmm. but it's like, you gotta keep going. Yeah, yeah. You can't just sit and be like, ah, I have reached the mountain because somebody will just blow straight past you, you know? It better be safe if she comes to my place. Sit and watch a movie, maybe we'll touch hands. She starts to lick my face and touch my no-no place. I'm nervous now, yup, that's it, I give up. But I think the cool thing with YouTube is, is like it's, it doesn't feel, at least for, in my eyes, to be like an extremely competitive thing. I don't look at it that way. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who's in the YouTube community is just, they're, they're my friends. If they're having success, I'm legitimately happy for them. If they pass me, we'll just do a video together and I'll come right back with them. You know, like yeah. we, we elevate each other and that's what I love about that's really it. My God, this class is boring. Let me out of this pig is true. What inspires you? Joe, Mystery Guitar Man. He moved out to LA with yeah. very little yeah. and he was just like, I'm going to put out two videos a week. I'm going to make sure that that happens. And I was like, all right, you know, good luck Tired, to you. Yeah. And then he just worked his 
tail off, like worked so hard. And I watched him become the success that he is. And like, that's absolutely inspiring because yeah. it's just hard work and talent and the concept that works. And you can have over two million subs, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have all that success. Like I'm so proud of him. So that's something that's inspiring to me for sure. So where do you see all this headed? You know, where do you see yourself? Through YouTube. I can direct, I can edit, yeah. I can produce music, I can act, I can host. Like YouTube is so great for like harnessing your skills. Mm -hmm. As for like where I think it's and going. And leveraging an audience. So you you were saying you want to host more. Well, you know what? The fact that you already have an audience, that's, that's what's leverage, awesome. absolutely. So it's like, I don't know exactly where I want to go with YouTube. I just, I'm enjoying it mm -hmm. for, how, for what it is and becoming a more skilled and a better person. Well, Chris, you're so well-spoken. You told your story. Done. As good as you could have told it yeah, yeah. to the world. I don't know how it was well-spoken either, because it's not me. That's not you? No. It's... Someone else came out of you. Yes. You channeled some I other channeled brilliant someone person. who is really good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pleasure. I appreciate it. Yeah. And of course, thanks to all of you for watching and supporting what we love doing. Stay tuned next week for another Partners Project. Thank you so much to our sponsor, lynda.com. Go to lynda.com slash partners project, the link right down there to get your free seven day trial right now. Learn how to be an awesome YouTuber, learn special effects, editing, shooting, and more. Go there, go to that link and support what we do because we want to continue doing it for all of you. Subscribe to Sup Ricky right here. Subscribe to us right here. And you know what? Stay tuned next week, Thursday, for a new Partners Project. And on Tuesday, come back here for Chris's Pro Tips. See you soon.